In this series, we visit Montenegro, a hidden gem of the Balkans. Join me on the first few days of this trip as we explore some stunning beaches, wander through historic old towns, and see the amazing coastal landscape. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video, and welcome to Montenegro, the beautiful country on the Adriatic coast. So I think it's fair to say that Montenegro is not your typical holiday destination, but I've seen quite a lot recently on the country, um, seen a lot of photos and nice videos. It looks like one of those places that's gonna be really, really popular in a few years time. So the plan for our trip to Montenegro is to do a really sort of mixed range of activities and see as much as Montenegro as we can in the week that we have here. So we're actually starting in Buva on the coast and we're going to be here for a couple of nights uh, before then moving on to Kotor, which is about half an hour away. Another old historic city and yeah, really good, looking forward to exploring that place. And then we're actually staying there for quite a few nights before then going on to uh, Dubrovnik in Croatia. We're hopping over the border and spending two nights there as well. Um, that originally wasn't in the plan when we were thinking of um, our trip to Montenegro, but having seen how close Dubrovnik is to the border, we thought it was worth a go. Um, and it's a city I've wanted to visit for um, quite a long time, so it was a good opportunity to, um, to, to incorporate that into our trip. Earlier that day, I got up for sunrise and headed to the old town in the hope of getting some nice images. From the small amount of research I did before coming to Budva, there didn't seem to be many obvious photo locations, so I headed to the old town with little expectation. first impressions of Budva was really good and I was looking forward to exploring more over the next few days. I then headed back to the hotel to grab some breakfast and we then headed back out to explore in the sun. Budva is the centre of tourism in the country and it's clear to see why with lots of nice beaches plenty of bars and restaurants, easy access to water activities, and a good nightlife. The old town has a lot to offer as well, which is often compared to the old town of Couture. Walking around Budva Old Town, and it's really cool. Really nice, reminds me a lot of uh, Venice, uh, which is understandable given its um, history. The town was part of the Venetian Empire for nearly 400 years, and the city walls were built by the Venetians to ward off Ottoman conquests.
just had a spot of lunch on the seafront and the plan for the rest of today is um, we're going to head back to the hotel and drive a short distance to Sveti, uh, Sveti Stan, I think it's called. Apologies for any mispronunciations. Yeah, it's a good sunset spot um, and quite a unique um, island with um, some houses on. So um, yeah, looking forward to that. After an enjoyable afternoon at the beach, we then headed to the sunset spot. And it's an incredible view that you get from here, offering an amazing perspective of the island and the surrounding coastline. golden hour approached, I captured the moment. That evening we went for a walk and enjoyed a drink in the old town. The next day we actually headed back to Sveti Stavan as there were a few areas that we didn't quite have time to explore on the previous day. So we've come to the other side of the beach and this is probably the, the better side. Uh, get some really nice views um, along the cliff top here. There are plenty more viewpoints um, down um, further along the walkway, um, but there's a, there's a private beach, um, which gives you a good backdrop um, for a lot of your photos. It's quite a good walk um, to do in the middle of the day um, because there's a lot of trees along this walkway, um, providing some shade and more importantly um, where the sun is hitting the the island and you can sort of see it uh, much more clearly and it comes up a little bit better in the photos whereas at sunset um, because the sun sets behind the island um, it becomes a bit shadowy and you can't really sort of see the see the island that well so definitely worth coming back Uh, making our way towards the island now.
We then left Sveti Stefan and headed back to Budva. So we're just waiting for the boat to take us out to um, the island in the Bay of Buda. And yeah, it's supposed to be a, a good beach actually. Um, the only way to get to it is by boat, hence why um, we're waiting. But um, yeah, should should be good fun, I think. I think we'll probably stay there for a couple of hours and then um, head back and then make our way to Kotor. Uh, to our next accommodation. And this visit was well worth the trip. It was a beautiful beach, it wasn't too crowded, and you get a great view of Budva and the surrounding mountains. then made our way back to the car and headed to our next accommodation. Check out the view, got a nice view of the bay and yeah this was probably the biggest reason to uh, to book this particular place and it's a pretty good location it's sort of 10 minutes walk into sort of the old the old city um, and a good distance to lots of other places and to visit in the bay. Um, the only downside is parking is <laughs> is a bit tricky um, particularly in these kind of old cities, they're not really designed for cars. It's really good to be here. It's really impressive actually just driving into into the bay. You sort of drive through the tunnel and then it's just it just appears, um, which is really cool. Yeah, so it's been um, quite a long day. Really good day, done lots of activities. Um, I think tonight we're probably going to take it easy. And that wraps up the first part of this trip. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out the next episode as we explore the Bay of Couture.